too many secrets. Here's a 3D graphic you may have seen that's very valuable. It shows things most miss. It shows the energy from the ground spiraling up through your body and then into your arms. Then through the club to the target. We are simply swinging a weight on a string. Our swing centers around the T1 complex. Shown here is the thorax. How to use the handle properly is shown here. The triangle goes down to our right foot. The handle wants to rotate around our wrist. Palm up, forearm up. Palm squares to strike. Hand path more down and then up. Notice the pause at the top as he gathers momentum. We're simply swinging a weight at the end of a string. It's centripetal motion forming a circle. Handle comes up to start the motion. Pause at the top. Palm up, forearm up. The golf ball on the handle points to the true swing center just above the belly button. Put it all together and it's unimpeded momentum. The shaft tricks our senses into believing that it takes muscular force to move the pole. In reality, momentum and speed are better served by using centripetal forces and triangles meeting up at our left instep. One of the longest drivers in history used centripetal force. Why shouldn't we? In fact, all of the elements from the 3D model are evident in his swing. Unimpeded centripetal motion. Tight circular hand pass. Arm triangles and handles steeply down to right foot. Shifting conversions of triangles from address through the strike. Efficient, natural motion. Unimpeded momentum. Swinging a weight on a string. So I'm going to show you a drill on how to do this. And this drill is going to cure anything in your swing flaw. Um, you'll be able to swing and compare things to see why you're not as fast and why why aren't you as efficient as someone else. So the drills, three finger drill. So see my hands here. So I'm going to grab the club with just those three fingers. And then the other hand, I do the same thing. Okay? So I'm holding with three fingers of each hand the index, the thumb, and the middle finger. All right, so all I'm gonna do, all right, is I lift the club and swing it like the weight on the string. So I first move, if you notice Dunaway, he lifts up. That's so you can drag it back and get the triangle position easier. It's a weight, so swing it back. It's the very first move, all right, this angle, it's very almost imperceptible move. Up, back. It's a weight. Okay. Now you're in position and just swing with that grip. Watch what happens. I don't generate a lot of speed. There's some. I can hear it whip. If you notice, I have to pause at the top just like the string in order to hold to it. So I pause, and then I'm coming with the triangle towards my right foot, with the handle pointed down. Triangle comes down towards that right foot, and I hear that. It's a Bobby Jones concept. You know, you're swinging a weight on a string. That's what he said. I made a career swinging a weight on a string. So how do you gain speed? All right. Speed's interesting because if I do sling it up and I wait, 
my right head in the proper position, my knee underneath supporting the head. I come down towards with the triangle, on this angle, towards my right foot. All of a sudden, it's getting faster because I'm sequencing better. Okay. So now you can experiment. Okay, I've got some speed. So now, what I'm going to do, all the same, get it to the top. All right. All I'm going to do is lift it, lift it, okay. and see what happens. I picked up more speed. So I'm transferring weight from here to here just by lifting this leg up. So what's that tell us? Tell us what should make that movement. But drive your leg up. Drive up this way with your leg. And all the rest of the motions are going to be natural. Because we're reacting to the weight. Now if I drive this hip to the same things, let's experiment. speed as much as I am with in the triangle and into you more. Your hands are closer to your back part of your body. It allows me to come down. And it's really fast. Um, so the other thing that he does, he comes back, he drops, which will give you some speed. That's how they're gaining the speed. Yeah that two finger drill. You're back here like this, you can't jump speed. So you must drop that weight, sling it around this way, a la Hogan. It's not as fast as I'm showing you. My hand path is tighter. It's from here to here. It's not way out here. It's out here. Tighter. It's faster. Try it. See what in your swing. See where the be a ball striker. <laughs> 